Three, two, one, commence. It was a night to celebrate eccentricity. 1,100 spectators and four Nobel Prize winners gathered to throw paper airplanes, play tic-tac-toe, and applaud some of the wackiest scientific achievements of the year. They included an investigative piece on whether things look differently when viewed from between your legs, and another study on the effects of different fabrics on the sex lives of rats. A biology winner this year is actually a designer who experienced living as a goat for days in the Swiss Alps. I was sleeping in the shed with the goats and then in the day kind of walking around on sort of four legs, eating lots of grass, um, trying to forget I was a human. Whatever you expect a human being to do, this person did something different. <laughs> you got to stop and pay attention to it. Mark Abrahams, who created the event, says winners tend to be hard to classify. Some are scientists, others not. What binds them is unorthodox thinking. The Ig Nobel Awards have taken place in Boston for 26 years. Over that time period, two countries have dominated in terms of winners, the UK and Japan. Almost everywhere, if somebody has very strange behavior, people want them to go away. But in England and in Japan, it's different. New Zealand's Mark Avis won the economics prize for a study on the perceived personalities of rocks from a sales and marketing perspective. He says the study came with tremendous risk. When I first, first proposed this as a research project, I, I was told it would ruin my academic career. But I thought, you know, I wanted to, to do the work to show that, you know, we need to use better research methodology. So I, I persisted anyway. And, uh, and I'm glad it, it, it's, you know, amused people because clearly uh, that's what this, this award is about. The winners all traveled to the event at their own expense, but left with a hefty prize, a $10 trillion Zimbabwean note, which is worth about $4 if you sell it on eBay. Karina Huber, CCTV, Boston.